We said last week we're going to make a beautiful pumpkin, carrot and tofu soup. And then Con's going to take us into the lounge room and we're going to do some exercise. That's right, we're going to do an exercise that anyone can do. And you're going to be spending a lot of the time on the floor today. So hope you enjoy the floor and hope you've got a space that you can sit on because that's all you're going to need. You just need yourself and a little space. So join me in a few minutes. I hope you've got your apron on and let's get cooking. Yeah, and remember after that we're working out, okay? So. Let's go into the kitchen now. Well, hello there. Welcome back. It's Nikki and I'm in the kitchen. And today I'm going to show you how to turn this into that in no time at all. It's a beautiful, delicious carrot and pumpkin tofu soup. It's delicious. You're going to be drooling when you smell it. And I'll be back real soon to show you how to put it all together. Okay, we're ready. All the ingredients are chopped up, so we're gonna pop them in there now. We've got my saucepan, and it's on a medium heat. And what we're gonna do is, we're, firstly, we're gonna put in our olive oil. There's about two tablespoons of olive oil in that. And we're gonna pop in, we've got three chopped onions. So in they go. We've got about two inches of chopped up ginger. In it goes, Oop, left a little bit in the bowl. And we've got about four cloves of garlic, which I've actually chopped up as well. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna stir that now for about five minutes, just so that the, they can blend together, the flavors can blend and the ingredients can soften up a little bit. And then we'll come back in about five and add the remaining ingredients, okay? Okay, now we've got our ground cumin. There's about two teaspoons there. And what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna add it into our onion and garlic and ginger. Okay, and put it back on the heat for just a minute. Okay. Now we're just gonna make sure that the cumin, the smell of that is unbelievable, let me just say. And the cumin is just going to dry fry there with the onions and the garlic. And then we're going to add the rest of our ingredients. Now, back over here, we've got our pumpkin and our carrots that we showed you earlier. And all I've done is chop them up. I've peeled them and chopped them up. And we're going to add those to our beautiful cumin, garlic, ginger and onion. And off we go. So that's, I've just stirred that for a minute. You can see the cumin beautifully blended in there with the other ingredients. We're going to pop in our pumpkin. Now I've used butternut pumpkin. In the US I think they call it squash but we call it pumpkin here in Aussie land. So I'm going to just gently mix that and then we add some chicken stock. Now if you're a vegetarian guess what you can add in veggie stock but I'm just adding some chicken stock and there's about three and a half cups there of that. Okay, and I'm just gonna mix through the ingredients. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna bring that to the boil. And that's gonna cook on a simmer, you know, a pretty healthy simmer, okay, not a light simmer, for about 25 minutes. And in 25 minutes, it's gonna be ready. And we're gonna stick it in the blender, add some delicious organic tofu and we're gonna have a gorgeous meal that you can make. That's healthy, that's low-cal, and absolutely delicious. So, I'll be back as soon as the veggies have gone tender, and we'll pop it in the blender and see what we can come up with. Okay, we're gonna spoon it into the blender, and then I'm gonna add the tofu. 
Now I've got about 150 grams of organic tofu. I was lucky enough to get organic tofu. And we're gonna put that in the blender with the rest of the ingredients and zip that up. And in no time at all, you're gonna have a fabulous soup. Now, at the beginning I showed you the soup and I put a little bit of coriander on that because I like coriander. If you want, if you've got a little bit of yogurt you want to put or a little bit of sour cream on the top of the soup, absolutely beautiful. But you know, even on its own, it's absolutely delicious. Now the tofu actually gives it a beautiful silky texture. It's absolutely yummy. And I tell you what, it adds that little bit of protein, okay? So you're not just having carbs. So here we go, right at the end, make sure we get all those gorgeous juices. Fantastic. Now, here's my tofu. So that's about 5.2 ounces, so about 150 grams. I'm gonna pop that on. Now today, I'm actually going to remember to put the lid on really tight so there's no surprises. I'm double checking. Ever had it happen to you? I have. So, on we go, power's on. Gonna make a bit of noise now. Okay, here we go. So it's ready. It's all been blended up. So now I'm gonna serve it into the bowl. Now how gorgeous is that? Lovely. And as I said, you can sprinkle now. You can put a little bit of sour cream, whatever you like on there. I'm gonna get a bit of pepper, maybe some ground pepper, and that's what I love on mine. You can see the steam coming off of that. Oh, look at that. Fabulous. So, that's a great dish. It's inexpensive. It's got beautiful, lovely, fresh ingredients, and you've got the tofu in there for your protein. You can have that as a snack, you can have it for lunch, you can have it for dinner. It's absolutely beautiful. The smell is sensational, the look is sensational. So come on everyone, try the dish, and let me know how you got on. Anyway, I'll be back with some other great, healthy recipes for you shortly. So thanks for watching Nikki in Nikki's Kitchen. See you real soon. Bye. Mm. Now you must admit, when you heard Nikki talking about what she was going to cook, I saw you was just ecstatically surprised <laughs> and went, wow, I can't wait to cook that, let alone eat it. But you, look, if you, do, if you have done it, believe me, and you've tasted it, it is spectacular. It'll change the way you make soup. Hey, it was awesome, wasn't it? It was, it was absolutely beautiful. So you just gotta think outside the box a little bit, everyone. And you know what? Healthy food can taste delicious. Yeah, now, after you've eaten all that healthy food, you're gonna have to burn off a few calories and get yourself healthy, so where, where to now, honey? Oh, where to, Con? You're gonna show us how to move it and groove it. That's right, like to move it, move it. So we're gonna come over here now, just gonna find that space and get started. So meet me over in the lounge room in just a moment. Oh hi, sorry, I was just saying my prayers because of what I'm about to do. Thanks for coming back. This is another three minute workout and today's workout is about push box and burpees. And the way we start it is like this, you just need the floor and yourself. So as soon as you hear that buzzer come from the heavens, you can begin. All it's right, here already. It's here already. Okay. <laughs> Beautiful, so Con's doing the burpees now. So the first minute we're gonna do burpees. So he comes down, pushes out, back in and up. Now if he really wants to, it's the first minute, might add a push up into that. Okay. You're saving the 30 seconds. Oh, you're saving. <laughs> That's a good idea. The first 30 seconds he's pacing himself. That's very, very clever. And then he's gonna add a push up now in the next 30 seconds. Okay, beautiful. Let's go, push up, excellent, and up. And when he comes down, he pushes out, he's got a beautiful line from his shoulders down to his toes. Excellent. That's it, bring the chest nice and low. You're doing great, Con. Yeah, 
Lovely. Now, when the beeper goes, we're going into the push box, okay? So just a couple more seconds. Excellent. Now, down on your bottom. Let's get stuck into it straight away. So let's go. Push box. Pushing that box away. So bringing those wrists to your knees. Excellent. Digging those heels in. Well done. That's it. Keep your head, head up. Hey, how long does it take you for your prayers are in? <laughs> I don't know. It depends, depends how long the workout is. <laughs> okay, beautiful. Another 30 seconds. Really push it. Come on. That's it. Keep those heels down. Keep those heels down. Looks That's easy, it. Oh, it looks easy, very easy. Okay, as soon as you hear that beeper, we're straight into the burpees again. That's it, well done. Keep it up. Okay, excellent. Back into the burpees. Now, the 30, first 30 seconds, let's go. And jump up, good. Pace yourself. And remember, this is the last minute of the workout, right? So, the next 30 seconds, add your little push-up in. Yes, dear. <laughs> I need some motivation. Okay, come on, come on. Okay, 30 seconds, let's add in the push-up. Come on, come down. That's it. Make a clap. Oh, beautiful, well done. You really want to push it in the last 30 seconds and it's only three minutes. Give it everything you got. Good, good, good. Push it, push it, push it. Come on, the time is about to go. Let's go. Almost there. All right. Well, three minutes. That's half a commercial break in some countries. Well, now that, that was really intense, but if you watch our tutorial, you can adjust this to suit yourself. So if this looks too easy for you, I can show you ways to make it harder in the tutorial. If it's too hard, I can show you ways to make it easier. Have you enjoyed it? Make sure you watch the tutorial. I wonder what we're gonna eat. Nikki does all this cooking stuff, which well, she won't tell me what it is, but I suppose I'll find out. But anyway, I hope that's it. But now, Nikki, there's probably something else. I wonder what it is. Hi everyone, I suppose you're wondering what I'm doing here. I'm here teaching you how to do a great new uh, exercise called a push box burpees. And I'm here to teach you how to do each component of that. So there are two parts, one's called the burpee, the other one's called the push box. So I'll just step up and I'll show you the burpee now. A burpee is basically stand up like this, nice and tall. If you crouch down, put your hands on a mat, on the ground, kick back, kick forward, jump up. That's a burpee. You want to make it a little bit harder? Down, kick back, push up, kick forward, come up. You want to make it a lot easier? Come down, step back, step back, knees down, push up, knees up, up. Okay, so, so that's your burpee. Once you've done that for a minute, we move into a push box. Now push box for your abs, looks like this. We lie down, feet are flat on the ground, hands are up, and we're simply pushing our hands forward. So it looks like this. Blowing out as you come up. Now what you're trying to know is try and get your wrist to the side of your knee, like this. Okay? Now we've done tutorials on this exercise on its own. So if you want to see how to do a burpee on its own, a half burpee or any variety of burpee that we do, you go to our, our tutorial section. If you want to see how to do a push box, we well, can do that as well. 
The purpose of today is to show you how to combine the two together. So we do one minute of the burpees, we do push box for a minute and we do another minute of the burpees. Start off hard and if you run out of steam, you know how to break it down, okay? So just to recap one more time, burpee, up. When you finish that for a minute, sit down, push box, push box, push box. When you finish that, up again, I'm Con, hope you enjoyed that. See you next time, bye bye. Now who in their right mind would think up an exercise like that? Well, it was me and uh, Nikki. Actually, no, no, it was Nikki, and she makes me do it, right? So, That's right. <laughs> but that, that, that is, if you can do that exercise, even with the modifications from the tutorial, it's a great all-round, all-body exercise. In actual fact, it'd be great to get your whole family to do it, and just watch how everyone fatigues all the way through. It's a lot of fun. N Nikki just loves watching me fatigue, <laughs> don't you, honey? Just the yeah. same way that you like watching that's me. That's right. Nikki. Okay. So that's the end of that. End of that. What's on uh, next week, honey? All right. Next week. Guess what? We're making a beautiful chicken salad. Now this chicken salad is very very nice. Got lots of interesting ingredients uh, but we've got a bit of chicken, a bit of spinach, a bit of pumpkin, some walnuts. It's absolutely yeah, delicious. Look, look, it's, it's, not that a, it's not that it's just a chicken salad. It's not boring, believe me. No. It's amazing when Nikki mixes the stuff and the magic happens and the juices start <laughs> to flow. Miracles You're happen. making me yeah, happy stuff. It's just great. Anyway, so you have to stay tuned for that one. Eh? Absolutely. And guess what? Con's going to be bringing some more exercises to you. And I think we're going to be targeting our bottom. The booty. The booty. The booty. <laughs> so if you want to get a nice round firm bar, Maybe you should be watching next week. Yeah, so I'm Con. I'm Nikki. See you then. <laughs> Bye. Bye.